Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovelies Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys are doing amazing. How was this full moon that we just recently experienced? I know it brought up a lot of emotions for a lot, a lot of you out there. Um, the beauty behind Scorpio or Scorpio's full moon is that it brings to us conclusions and endings. But these are shedding uh, the old us to propel us into a new beginning, a new version of ourselves uh, with deeper understanding, deeper knowledge, um, you know, leaving our karmic energies or karmic cycles from past lives in the underworld to be able to, like I said, propel us into a new beginning with a more clear understanding of what our purpose or what our path is in this earthly plane. So again, if you are feeling a bit overly emotional, uh, it is a normal process. We're still under the influence of that energy. Um, so anyways, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. All right, so we're starting off here with the Two of Wands. For a lot of you guys, um, I see you... I see you wanting to make certain moves. For some of you guys, this could be career-wise. This could be in regards to, uh, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to relationships as well. Um, as they're telling me, um, if you're in a situation where you've been dealing with um, feeling lack of, lack of stability or lack of... Um, Okay, so I'm getting two messages. For some of you guys, this could be you looking towards the future, planning, um, having a grander vision of where you want your life to go or where you want to lead your life. For others of you, if you are in a long-term relationship, I feel that for some of you guys, there's a feeling of stagnation um, or there is a feeling of looking towards the future reminiscing or thinking about someone from the past so for some of you guys uh this could be missing an individual missing a person if there's no contact or communication um if there's distancing involved i definitely do see you guys planning uh to get to them or to communicate in some shape way or form okay so we're gonna get a little bit more feedback from the rest of the cards Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May 2021. Okay, one more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get into it. Yep. Okay, so we have the Hanged Man here. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be experiencing a missing of an individual, missing someone. It could be a Pisces um, energy as we do have the Hanged Man here. But I feel that this is like you seeing a situation from the past with a different perspective. So it could have been a situation where perhaps you were the one who walked away from a connection, Sagittarius. Or it could have been that you let an, opportun an opportunity pass you by. Uh, the reason why I say that is because I am seeing here, I'm noticing um, the bird here at the top. Um... And it's almost like you're looking towards something that passed you by or that you passed by. Uh, and, and again, I felt very strongly like you missing or thinking of someone that may be at distance or there's no communication. The hanged man um, feeling like you want to communicate or you want to extend communication or reach out to them, but you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like you're not sure if you're wanting to go down that path. Now, keep in mind, this could be their energy as well, Sagittarius, as it is a general reading. Um, so it could be that they are wanting to reach out to you, but they are unsure of making the move. Uh, I feel strongly for a lot of you guys, it's because you feel like you let this opportunity pass you by. Okay, so we have uh, air energy here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, King of Swords. Uh, yeah, there is definitely some cutting. Uh, someone in this connection or in this situation cut someone else off. Uh, it could have been you that you cut them off or it could have been that they cut you off and you felt like, okay, so 
this is all over the place, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so what I'm hearing is um, you were dealing with someone that is not fucking around. They're not playing. Like, they are 100% know exactly who they are and know exactly what they want and know exactly what they're willing to deal with and what they're not. There was the two of wands could represent options as well. So it could have been that you were entertaining two different people, uh, you know, or that they were entertaining two different people, uh, feeling stuck, feeling like an opportunity passed you by. Um, and it could have been because either you cut them off or they cut you off. And it could have been that they cut you off. If it was them that cut you off, Sagittarius, it could have been because they knew or they felt like you were dealing with someone else. You do have two of wands. Uh, could represent two different options. Two of swords. Okay. All righty. So I'm going to pull out the rest of the cards just to get a clear understanding of what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So I'm hearing regret. Okay. I feel like you guys have had this reading last month. So someone in this connection is married or in a committed relationship. It could be you that you're married or you've been in a committed relationship, but you're over this relationship. It, this relationship is done. I feel that for some of you guys, it's because you're holding on to it. Could be because you feel like they're giving you some type of assistance. It could be like feeling... Um, you're there because of the children. For others of you, it could be because you feel like you need them in some way. Financial, you know, situations may be what's keeping you there as well. Um, however, I'm sensing very strongly like you were being pulled towards this individual or this person was really feeling you. But again, with the King of Swords, and this is definitely not your energy, this is their energy. This is a person that is extremely stubborn and that is very nonchalant. Like they are not going to put up with nonsense. With the two of swords here and the moon standing out, it shows to me there was indecisiveness on your part. Um, and the moon, you know, really standing out. Um, there is indecisiveness where this person felt like you were emotionally very immature and they completely cut ties or they completely remove themselves from that situation right at the center we have the justice card and that's exactly what we said initially in the beginning of the reading which we're dealing right now with the full moon's energy that just was in scorpio um a lot of karmic debts or karmic uh karmic energies that we have brought into this lifetime um from pa from past experiences so what you're dealing with is a karmic relationship um so for some of you guys those of you guys that are in a relationship but you're actually missing or dealing with someone else outside of your union i feel that the reason why you feel like you can't let go of this situation or with the partner that you've been with for quite a while is because this is a karmic relationship this is a relationship where in a past life, there could have been certain things that were left undone um, that either they did to you or you did to them that needs to be released and worked through in this lifetime. So this could be, for some of you guys, this could be a very toxic situation. It could be uh, that the partner you're with is extremely toxic or that you yourself are extremely toxic or that both of you guys bring out the worst in each other. And it could be the reason why you feel stuck. You feel like you can't move on. You don't know what to do with this situation. Um, but again, it's a, it's a karmic cycle. And again, keep in mind, full moon in Scorpio is that of working through things that are in the underworld, right? Karmic situations, karmic lessons. So... For some of you guys, it's it's coming to the understanding in the month of May that you cannot continue in this situation no longer, that something has to change, and this could be you the one that decides to walk away or to end this marriage 
uh, we have the Ten of Wands here, and the Ten of Wands is getting to the point of feeling overburdened, feeling like you, you know, you, you're doing and going above and beyond. You've been trying to work this out, but again, there is judgment. So we have justice and judgment. There is a decision that is being made um, that is going to propel you and that is going to be the direct influence of what is to unfold in your life moving forward, Sagittarius. So there is a, there is a massive decision that is going to be needed to do that you're going to need to do in this month of May. For some of you guys, is ending that karmic energy, that karmic relationship, and reconnecting or going towards this person that was put in your life at this point in time to bring to you the emotional fulfillment that you've been searching for or hoping for. For others of you, for others, especially those of you guys that are in a very toxic situation, it's going to come down to basically choosing the partner or choosing the outcome of the life that you want for your children. So very heavy energy here. Justice card right at the center, working through karma. So this is karma, not just of this lifetime, but previous lifetimes. Um, Ten of Cups is the potential to work through this karmic cycle to get to you or to get you to your happiness or your fulfillment or your emotional stability that you've been hoping for. Judgment next to justice, you will be vindicated. You will be given that opportunity. But we first need to work at what we need to do here now to work on ourselves to get us to that point. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, I feel that decisions need to be made for some of you guys. Um, if you're not dealing with anyone and you are in a karmic relationship, it's going to come down to having to choose to continue on this path of struggle and difficulty or to remove yourself and decide to no longer sacrifice your happiness for anyone and choose your happiness and then and then deciding with that decision the karmic cycle ends to start a new beginning do you see what i'm saying now for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while the reason why you haven't been able to embrace or find a stable relationship is because you've been working through a lot of karmic um, lessons from past lives that you brought into this lifetime. Could have been dealing with people that you felt you were very pulled towards uh, that could have been committed or could have been married. Uh, it could have been that you were chasing people that were emotionally unavailable. And all of this comes down to, again, past life experiences that you've needed to work out in this lifetime in order to release or remove that energy to be able to vibrate to your highest potential or your highest energy. And you will get through this. Again, full moon in, uh, in Pluto, <laughs> full moon in Scorpio. It is the death and the rebirth of the new you. Okay, so I'm going to be pulling out a major arcana to see uh what it is exactly that you need to embrace what energies you need to embrace for this month of may 2021 spirit guides what are the energies what is it that sagittarius needs to embrace for this month of may 2021 what energies do they need to embrace at this present time moving forward for the month of may 2021 spirit guides The wheel of fortune destiny destiny karma past life experiences that's what you're working through right now sagittarius i feel like i'm hearing i feel lost i'm hearing i don't know what to do choices options you need to understand that what you're working through right now is karmic, okay? So whether it be you being in a karmic marriage, in a karmic relationship where you feel like you can't put an end to it, 
there's breakups, you go back, there's breakups, you go back. It's because it's a karmic energy. You've outgrown this energy, okay? So when, when we learn our lessons or when we go through our lessons, the way of knowing we've learned is because you keep it pushing. It's because you acknowledge it didn't work out. I need, I've outgrown this situation. I need to go on to the next cycle. The reason why we hold on is because we still haven't learned that lesson. So you may have learned this lesson and still holding on to it is keeping you from embracing a new karmic cycle, embracing a new beginning, embracing a new life or a new lifestyle. You've outgrown this. You've learned this already, Sagittarius. So it's time to release. It's time to let go and embrace this new cycle that's coming towards you because right at the center, my lovelies, right at the center, you are vindicated right? The scales are balanced. The, you have no more bad or good karmic debt. It is balanced. It's a new beginning. It's a new opportunity. It's a new life. It's a new cycle. Emotional fulfillment, happiness, balance, and judgment. The decision to go towards this. So you need to embrace what is not working for you. Let it go. Let it go. Embrace the opportunities that present themselves to you. If in the past, let's say five months, you met someone and you're still stuck in this karmic situation, that person came into your life for a purpose. It's time for you to embrace new beginnings. All right, so let's see what it is that you're... Oof, okay. So we're using the shadow work oracles to see what it is that we need to work on ourselves moving forward. And you have first aid kid, broken heart. You're healing from past experiences, you're healing from painful relationships, toxic relationships. You're healing. You're healing. I keep hearing you've outgrown this cycle. Clear it out. So there's something that you're not wanting to let go of, but there is a need for you to let it go if you want to not feel stuck, if you want to move forward towards a positive outcome, towards a better life, towards your happiness. For some of you guys, like I said, it's it's uh, breaking up, going back, breaking up, going back. And it's like every single time you break up, a little piece of you dies. A little piece of you breaks. You feel lost or you have felt lost in the past. Take your power back, Sagittarius. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. Understand that it is up to us to make things happen for ourselves. No one's going to come and save me or save you or save our life. If we want change, we need to be the change. All right? I wish you guys the very best. I send you love and light, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.